seasons. The Earth takes one year to complete its orbit around the Sun. Its axis is also tilted by 23.5 degrees compared to its orbit. This causes different parts of the Earth to receive different amount of sunlight, resulting in seasons. Let's begin on 21st of December, also known as the winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. On this date, the North Hemisphere points directly away from the Sun, so it receives the least amount of sunlight throughout the year. As the Earth rotates, the Northern Hemisphere also spends the least amount of time in sunlight. The daytime is short and it is winter time in the Northern Hemisphere. Meanwhile, the Southern Hemisphere is in the middle of summer, as it receives the most amount of sunlight and the daytime is longest throughout the year. On 21st of March, sunlight falls equally on both hemispheres. On this day, the daytime lasts equally everywhere. We call this the equinox, equal day and night. The northern hemisphere just come out of winter, so they call this day spring equinox or vernal equinox. Meanwhile, the southern hemisphere just went out of their peak of summer. So it's autumnal equinox for the southerners. As June approaches, the daylight increases in the Northern Hemisphere. This reaches the peak on June 21st when daylight is longest, known as the Summer Solstice. Meanwhile, the Southern Hemisphere is experiencing winter. On 21st of September, once again, the sun falls equally on both hemispheres. This is the autumnal equinox for the northern hemisphere and spring equinox in the southern hemisphere. As the cycle of seasons complete, the Earth has completed another of its orbit, lasting exactly one 